Hey everyone, it's Jacob here back again with another video. Um, so for today's video, actually before I get into what today's video is about, um, I wanted to say I'm sorry it's been uh, quite a few days since my last video. I actually just checked right before I started filming this video and my last video was like four days ago, I think it said. And um, I, don't, I don't think that many people have really seen the last video I did, but it was uh, showing an internet archive website, a website called Internet Archive, which has a bunch of like... Um, Excuse me. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, sorry. Um, I apologize for those two burps. But anyways, um, pardonnez-moi. <laughs> anyways, um, but yeah, on the Internet Archive website, it's like a website that has a bunch of like all like shows, movies, like TV shows, <laughs> movies, uh, music, books, websites, stuff like that, like archived. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, go check out my last video if you want to see that website but yeah uh technically the i did make a, another video like the day after um the day after i made that internet archive website video but uh it was um that video was um a uh, bedroom and loft tour video but um then the day after i filmed that video i deleted um the bedroom loft tour video so it's not on my channel anymore and the reason i deleted it is because i realized i'd accidentally um, I accidentally, like, exposed my address at one point in that video, uh, because I showed a, uh, in my bedroom, um, I showed a, uh, a letter that I got from the, uh, governor of South Carolina when I graduated, Governor Henry McMaster, I think his name is, um, so yeah, my address was on that letter, and I didn't realize it when I was, like, filming it, um, so yeah, that's why I deleted that video, because I accidentally exposed my address on that letter from the governor of South Carolina. That was when I graduated, by the way. I don't know if I said that, but uh, the reason I got a letter from the governor of South Carolina is because he was congratulating me on uh, graduating back in 2021. So, yeah. But anyways, now that we got all that out of the way, uh, for today's video, I wanted to show a few things that I got yesterday from Big Lots. Um, I went to Big Lots yesterday with uh, my mom and dad, and uh, because I saw that I saw they, were, they got some new stuff in at the uh, movie section at Big Lots. Um, so I'm going to show what I got today. Um, and uh, we also went to uh, a couple of Walgreens stores to see if they had any movie sections there, me and my mom and dad. Because um, i seen like a YouTube video that a, a guy by the name of Jay's Blu-rays uh, uploaded recently. Shout out to you, Jay's Blu-rays. You're an awesome YouTuber. Um, but he made a video about, like, uh, how there was, like, a new little movie section at Walgreens, like, a cardboard stand kind of thing that said, like, movie night on it. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's no such movie section at, at either of the, uh, <clears throat> Walgreens stores that me and my mom and dad went to, um, like, yesterday. <clears throat> um, I'm kind of feeling I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. <clears throat> That's kind of my thought there, but, um, yeah, anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know what the video of the little movie section at Walgreens that Jay's Blu-ray made was all about, because like I said, I couldn't, I, there was no movies at either of the uh, Walgreens stores that me and my mom and dad went to yesterday, but, um, yeah, no, not a big deal, uh, probably wouldn't have been anything too good, because it's a little Walgreens movie section, like, there wouldn't be any spectacular stuff, I guess, if you will, anyway, um, uh, first, actually, first before I showed these uh, these movies I got from Big Lots, um, there's one thing at Big Lots I really wanted to get, but my mom and dad wouldn't let me. It was, um, it was something that I'd seen that Big Lots got in, um, that someone made a YouTube video about, like, um, new stuff at the movie session Big Lots recently, and one of them was a thing that I was super excited to find, but, um, my mom and dad wouldn't let me get it. I found it yesterday, but my mom and dad wouldn't let me get it. What, basically what it is, is the Walking Dead Complete Eighth Season Blu-ray Limited Edition Steelbook. That was one thing that I saw that Big Lots got in recently. And I was really interested in it, but my mom and dad wouldn't let me get it because I'd asked for the, uh, the complete collection of The Walking Dead for either my birthday or Christmas. Because, um, my birthday is, like, really close to Christmas, so it's not my birthday. It's December 22nd. So, yeah. <clears throat> and so, they, they didn't think I should get the, the eighth season Blu-ray steelbook since I might be getting the complete collection for, you know, the birthday of Christmas. I was kind of mad, not gonna lie, when I wasn't able to get it, but, you know, now I'm, I'm more calm about it, I, I understand. Uh, anyways, you know, I understand why they wouldn't let me get it. But anyways, it just looks really cool, but really cool to have it. Anyway, 
So now let's get into the stuff that I did be that I did get. Um, I'm kind of rambling on here for a few minutes. It's already been like five minutes into the video, and I haven't actually shown anything yet. But anyways, let's finally get started. And I'll show you everything that I got from Big Lots yesterday. So the first thing I got from Big Lots is this Curious George Holiday Two Pack with the Curious George like Christmas movie special, whatever you want to call it, very monkey Christmas, and then like a episode compilation DVD Curious George plays in the snow. Then how? <laughs> Um, that's my words that I was going to say. And then down here is a little thing that says, Still curious, not just in your five years, from 1941 to 2016. I guess that's when DVD came out, was 2016, I'm guessing. Anyway. So, um, on the back here has some descriptions for both of the Curious Stories DVDs that are included in here. <clears throat> I'm not going to read, um, like everything that it says or anything like that. Um, but on the description for the Curious Stories Plays in the Snow DVD, it says, it says it has eight episodes. That plays in the snow DVD has eight episodes. And uh, a very monkey Christmas, like, Curious George Christmas movie. Uh, I haven't watched that in, like, quite a long time because it's not really available in a lot of places. So, <laughs> so uh, this, this uh, very monkey Christmas movie is probably going to be pretty installed because I haven't seen it in so long. Um, There's also, like, a Curious George, like, Halloween movie it's called, like, Halloween Boo Fest. I think something like that. I have a DVD of that one. There's also, like, a spring-themed Curry storage movie, I can't really quite remember what it was called, but yeah. Then obviously there's like the theatrical Curry storage movies, like the original Curry storage movie that was just called Curry storage, and like Curry storage 2 Fall the Monkey, Curry storage 3 Bats the Jungle, and so on and so forth. I have a collection of five of the Curry storage movies actually, but I'm not gonna show that in this video because obviously, obviously that's not something I got from Big Lots. Anyway, in special features down here it says Monkey Snow Jam, Monkey Bubbles, and Didi Run feature from the book color pages. So, yeah. Um, and by the way, I don't have the spring, the Curious George spring movie on DVD. Anyways, I probably want to, I probably would have remembered what the name of the Curious George spring movie was if I had on DVD. Anyways, this is Nico by Space, and see by the logo there. <laughs> There's the a Very Monkey Christmas DVD. And then the Curious George Plays in the Snow and other awesome activities DVD right there. I think these are the same, like, previously released <clears throat> DVDs from, like, the individual releases. Are these two DVDs just like repackaged with both this in one case, obviously? Um, my dog just started barking downstairs, you probably heard that <laughs> anyway. So, um, yeah, that was the Curious Short Holly 2 pack. Um, I think this is probably like like three or three dollars, four dollars, five dollars, somewhere around there. I don't quite remember, <laughs> anyways. So, uh, next up, this is uh, Nick Jr. Nick Jr. Favorites Big Hits Volume 1 DVD with two, like, Nick Jr. compilation, episode compilation DVDs. This includes over four hours of content. Um, so, yeah. So, this has the DVDs Whisker and Paws and Puppy Palooza. So, both of them have seven episodes of various Nick Jr. shows. Um, I got this one because this one, um... These DVDs included in here might be pretty nostalgic for me. <clears throat> I mean, some of the shows are included on both these DVDs that I never really watched. There's like, because they're like newer. Like, for example, Shimmer and Shine. That's the newer Nick Jr. show that I never watched. Like, Paw Patrol. I've never watched that. But, uh, like, um, some other shows are included on these DVDs that I did watch are like Team Mizumi, Bubble Guppies, or The Explorer, Blue's Clues, stuff like that. It doesn't actually say which, is, which specific episodes are included in, in here. But, yeah. Anyway, and here's the actual case. Right there, it says the biggest adventures all on one side. I don't know if I'd say the biggest adventures, but yeah, anyway. And here's the inside. Um, so there's Puppy Palooza, and then Whiskers and Paws as well. So yeah, there's about to be some pretty nostalgic DVDs from him. I mean, not the DVDs themselves, because I've, I've never had. Um, I never, like, owned either of these DVDs anymore, so DVDs themselves wouldn't be really installed. They'd probably be, like, the episodes that are contained within the DVDs, <laughs> if you will. It would be pretty nostalgic for me, probably. But, uh, anyways. Um, uh, so yeah, that was that. This one's probably, like, $5 as well. Most of the stuff at Big Lots is only, like, a, a few bucks. A, a few bucks? A few... Most of the stuff at Big Lots is... Uh, it's usually like a few bucks each, like 
Um, the cheapest I've seen a DVD or Blu-ray at Big Lots is like, uh, like three dollars I think. Um, but I've also seen stuff for like four or five dollars, and then, um, or like, uh, steel books at Big Lots for like seven dollars, or um, I got like a Bloom House of Horrors to movie collection from Big Lots one time. I think that was like twenty five dollars. It's probably the uh, most expensive thing that I've seen at Big Lots, so uh, most stuff at Big Lots is pretty cheap, so yeah. Anyway, next up, this is another, like, Nick Jr. compilation thing, nostalgic Nick Jr. compilation thing. It's called Bunch of Playdays, Nickelodeon Bunch of Playdays, three DVD sets. This one has three DVDs in it. Um, so we've got Dance the Music, Root and Tune, Wild Blast, and Once Upon a Rhyme. So, um, so it's great if you see Tens and Fun, this three-pack collection. The Dance the Music DVD actually partly owned, <coughs> like the individual release, um, the, uh, <laughs> lost my train of thought for a second. I was gonna say the, uh, Dance to the Music DVD, I, I, um, I had the individual release of that one, uh, before I got this, because it was one of the DVDs I got from a lady in my neighborhood that gave me a bunch of free DVDs and VHSs and whatnot. But anyways, I'll go ahead and list off the, uh, individual, all the, uh, episodes. I was gonna say individual episodes, but I don't know if that really makes sense. Anyway. So, um, Dance to Music DVD, we've got the Dory the Explorer episode, La Maestro de Musica, um, Team Amazing, We Butterfly Dance, Bubble Guppies, We Totally Rock, Go Dee Go Go, The Aquatic Sing Along, Wonder Pets, Save the Beatles, and Save the Fiddler Crab on the Roof. <laughs> that's, that's clever there, it's like Fiddler on the Roof. Anyway, uh, Nihau Kai Land, The Ants Dance, and Special Features, Bubble Guppies Sing Along Music Videos, Bubble Guppies Sing to Rock, and Bubble Guppies Rocket. And then Rune Tune Mod West DVD as the episodes Bumble Guppies, The Cowgirl Parade, Team Amazing Shooting Star, Door the Explorer, Pinto, The Pony Express, The Freshy Band, Hip Hop Hoedown, Go Diego Go, 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 The Great Roadrunner Race, and Mother Pets Save the Pony Express and Save the Groundhog. And then Once Upon a Rhyme DVD has the episodes Bubble Guppies, who's gonna play the who's gonna play the Big Bad Wolf, Team Amazing the Umi Sea Treasure Hunt, Freshy Band, Royal Wedding, um, Door the Explorer, Dora Save the Three Little Piggies. On her pets, help the cow jump over the moon and save the unicorn. And Blue's room, a little red riding blue. So, yeah. Now, on the inside here, it's actually a pretty good quality case. It's not an eco case, I don't think. It's a pretty good quality case. <laughs> anyway, I found the case, am I right? <laughs> anyway, so the Dance to the Music DVD. And then Root and Tune Bottom West. And then Once Upon a Rhyme as well. Um, sounds like a car, somebody's going by outside, I don't know if you heard that. Um, yeah, I was just checking behind the last disc to see if there was maybe an EcoBoss logo on the other side of the case, but that, that is not the case. Like, that's not the, uh, that's not the, it, like, it doesn't have a EcoBoss logo on the other side of the case, that's not the, the case. <laughs> I just kind of got confused saying that, but I think you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, you know what I'm trying to say there, right? Anyway. <laughs> Um, see so yeah, that was that one. Um, so, uh, this one's probably like $5 as well, by the way. I actually probably saw the receipt, um, from, uh, Big Lots yesterday. I, I don't think I threw it away, so I could have grabbed that to just see what the prices were for each of these before I started making this video, but, you know, not a big deal. Anyways, next up is a Hunger Games movie, the Hunger Games Catching Fire combo Blu-ray DVD and digital copies, and you can see it says at the top there. This one actually still has the, uh, the, uh, price tag on it, the Lots price tag on it, because the, um, the slip cover was not, like, plastic wrapped, it was just the, uh, the case, the case itself. So, this one says I got for $5, $4.99. dollars is pretty cheap for a Blu-ray and DVD and digital combo pack, um, it says there's a sticker right here that says based on the based on the world by bestseller divergent. But uh, I don't think that sticker was meant to be on here because this obviously isn't a divergent movie, it's the Hunger Games. Anyway, um by the way, if you hear someone talking in the background, that's the that's the T V downstairs. I think my mom is like watching church or something. Anyway. And this says includes an excerpt from the novel divergent, I think. Um uh, includes an excerpt from the the novel The Hunger Games Mock and Jay. I think that's what that says. Yeah, it says details inside. I'm not quite sure what that's about. But yeah, um, so 
I've seen like the the first Hunger Games movie. I've not gotten around watching the other ones, but I have the second one on Blu-ray here. So, yeah. Because my camera, I'm not gonna read this whole description because that might take a little too long. I'm actually, it's technically do two different versions of the same description right here because I think it's actually a Canadian French release because there's like some French stuff on here. Anyway, <laughs> um, down here special features are filmmaker commentary, nine part making of documentary, Blu-ray exclusive special feature there deleted scenes and divergent sneak peek. Okay, so that, that sticker must have been like meant to be on here because I did a divergent sneak peek special feature there. Anyway, so here's the actual case. Um, I have the, by the way, I have the first Horror Games movie on just like a, a regular DVD. Um, it was actually on, on one of the other, one of the DVDs that, um, that I got from that lane in my neighborhood for free. Just like that, a Nick Lane uh, Dance to the Music DVD. I had the individual release of that because they in my neighborhood gave me that. <laughs> Not a lot of DVDs I got for free, excuse me. Just burped again. Anyway, so there's the actual case, basically the exact same as the slipcover. Um, there's a digital copy insert right here. I'm not like hiding the code or anything because. Uh, it says it has expired. It says offer expires March 7th, 2017. It's obviously not 2017 anymore, so that code is not uh, going to work. So, yeah. All right, here's, uh, here's an ad for Divergent right there. Let's take that out. And there's actually one more insert in here. It says, find out how it ends. The final book of The Hunger Games, Mockingjay. Um, now in paperback. On the back here, it says, uh, there's a quote from Entertainment Weekly right here. It says, the movie shows how, but the book shows why. Um, I don't know if I'd really be able to, uh, read the, all the Hunger Games books, to be honest, because, um, I've heard that the, the Hunger Games books are, like, really long and really big. And I just, I, I used to really like reading when I was younger, but nowadays I, just, I still like reading, but I just, I'm not really able to sit through a really long and big book like that. Um, I like get bored pretty easily to be honest, but I, I do still like reading, just not like really big long books like that. Anyways, it says read it today, and then there's a cue or a cue card. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why it's a cue card at first, but I was gonna say it says read it today, and then there's a QR code right there. I'm guessing that just leads to a page to, like buy the books or something. You can scan that QR code if you want to see what it is. I might scan that later after I'm done making this video. But anyways. Here is, uh, the discs, so, um, yeah. yeah. Okay, so just trying to, uh, get the discs straight. So they're kind of, kind of whipper gone. Uh, anyways, so there's the DVD on the left, and the Blu-ray on the right. And there's, like, an alternate cover on the inside of the case here. It's, it's actually a French cover. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. And that's it. And, uh, no spoilers for the Iron Games in the comments, by the way, because, like I said, I've only seen the first one, so... <clears throat> so please don't don't spoil any of the Iron Games... I uh, missed my words, I was going to say, so please don't spoil any of the uh, other Iron Games movies for me in the comments, <clears throat> since I've never seen any of the other ones. You can talk about the first Iron Games movie in the comments if you want, but uh, any of the other ones, um, don't spoil for me, please. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, And then uh, I got one last thing here. This is actually another Hunt Games movie, Marking J Part 2, Blu-ray and DVD Digital Combo Pack. This one's actually a steel book, so so I guess this kind of makes up for not getting the, the Walking Dead steel book, even though I didn't get that Walking Dead 8th season steel book, I still got a steel book, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> and uh, like I said before, when I was talking about the price of stuff at Big Lots, all steel books at Big Lots are $7, and it's, it was no different with this one. Um, so not the, the only art games movie I don't own is, um, I can J part one. So yeah, this is a Blu-ray DVD digital comic pack. This is the J card on the back of the description of the movie. Then over five hours of bonus features. There's a lot of bonus features listed here, so I'm not going to read any of them. You can pause the video and read uh, the bonus features in the description and stuff if you want to. <coughs> so yeah. And then, uh, let's go ahead and take off the J card there. I can just go ahead and stick it back on if I want to, because there's like a little piece of like... Um, sticky stuff right there. 
Anyway, the, the back of the steelbook here is a picture of the mocking mockingbird or, or mocking jay, I mean. Um, so yeah. That's that. And then let's see. Open up the steel book. Um, let's see. Okay, there's a, digital, there's a digital code in here, and I was looking to make sure if the if the digital code was like expired or not. <clears throat> but uh, it is expired. Uh, it says code may not be valid after March twenty second, twenty seventeen, the same year as the other digital code and other hunting games. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my mom's just yelling at my dog downstairs. You might have heard of that. She's like, "Caddy." That's the name of my dog is Caddy. Anyway, there's digital code. I'm not hiding the code. Like I said, uh, has expired. On, on the back mentions the Hunger Games, the exhibition. Explore the world of Hunger Games as never before. Didn't know that existed. That's pretty cool. Pay 20% per tick when you present this coupon to an exhibition box office. Oh, offer expires January 1st, 2018. So I want to be able to present this ticket in the exhibition box office so it has expired, just like the digital code. <coughs> um, not sure if that ex exhibition even exists anymore. Because <coughs> uh, the steelbook came out like a few years ago, I think. <coughs> I keep clearing my throat because I feel like I'm losing my voice for some reason. <clears throat> Anyways, there's the Blu-ray on the left and the DVD on the right. So, it's actually pretty rare to see DVDs in steelbooks because steelbooks usually only have, um, most steelbooks are like Blu-ray and 4K uh, combo packs. You usually don't see DVD discs in uh, steelbooks. But anyways, there's the picture on the inside of the steelbook. I just took the discs out. It's a, it's a pretty cool picture. Um, yeah. To be honest, it's not like the, um, <clears throat> to be honest, it's like not the most creative steelbook I've ever seen, but it's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> so, yeah, like I said, the steelbook was $7. That's what all steelbooks cost a big lot is $7. Anyway, which is like really cheap for a steelbook, so yeah. Um. So yeah, so that's that. Let me just put the J card back on. See if I stick it back on here. There we go. Uh -huh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, just making sure it was stuck on there. Anyway, I'm gonna keep the the J card at least for a little while because it looks pretty cool. I might just take. I might just. I might just throw away the J card at some point, but for now I'm going to keep it because it's pretty cool. Anyway, so that was the last thing I wanted to show. This was a uh, few things I got from Big Lots 5 uh, movies, videos. Uh, well, not movies, but like, um, like, uh, as far as like DVDs and Blu rays is what I meant, because they're not all movies. Because obviously, some are shows like Curious George and all the Nick Jr. stuff. And actually, only two of them are movies, the two Hunger Games movies. But, anyways, um, yeah, that's basically it for this video. So, um, to be honest, I think nowadays Big Lots is like one of the best places to like hunt for movies like DVDs and Blu rays and stuff because I think Big Lots is one of the best. Is, uh, Big Lots is like uh, one of the stores that has like the best movie sections, in my opinion. Um, like, you can find a lot of really good stuff at uh, Big Lots for like really cheap because, like I said, all the DVDs and, and Blu rays and even 4Ks or uh, Big Lots even has like a, a few. Four uh, 4Ks as well, but it's mainly DVDs and Blu-rays, but, um, I've seen a few 4Ks at Big Lots, though, but it's mainly DVDs and Blu-rays, but, like, yeah, well, like I said, all the DVDs and Blu-rays and 4Ks and whatnot are all, like, a, f a few bucks each, they're all pretty cheap, so, yeah, Big Lots is just, like, a really good place to find, like, uh, really good DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks for really cheap, like, a few bucks each, so, yeah, <coughs> anyways, um, I think that's, that's all I want to say, it's all for this video, um, <clears throat> of course, please like on your Instagram. Of course, ring the bell so you'll find out I post any new videos. And, um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. So, of course, see you next time. Peace.